Hello and welcome to another episode of Stroke Rounds. In this episode, we will discuss an important radiological sign in neurology, three territory sign. In simple words, it's just bilateral anterior and posterior infarcts in the diffusion image, and it is associated with Trossier syndrome, also known as cancer-associated hypercoagulable state. Let's discuss this in detail. So cancer and stroke share an intimate relationship. Around 15% of patients with malignancy will eventually develop stroke. Sometimes stroke may even herald an occult malignancy. But the pathogenesis of stroke in malignancy is pretty complex. The most commonly proposed and accepted one is the local intravascular hypercoagulability theory. In this, there is in situ thrombi in small and medium vessels. There are other causes like verrucous endocarditis and emboli, infections and therapy related events. But the most common pathophysiology that is linked to cancer and stroke is local intravascular hypercoagulable state. This hypercoagulable state is known as Trossier syndrome. So how do you define stroke in a CA malignancy patient? So unexplained thrombotic events that precede the diagnosis of an occult visceral malignancy or appear concomitantly with the tumor can be termed as stroke associated with carcinoma. So whenever you get infarcts in multiple territories, you often search for emboli. One source is cardiac source. You do the transthoracic echocardiography, you don't find anything. You do a long-term cardiac monitoring, you can consider transesophageal echocardiography, metabolic genetic tests in younger individuals, spinal tap if you are suspecting infections or vasculitis. But in older patients, one of the most important part is coagulopathy per workup. You can send D-dimer, DVT screen, etc. And you have to consider malignancy. It's of top priority in elderly patients. So what is Trossier syndrome? So these are thrombotic events that appear along with malignancy or precede malignancy. So three territory sign is very important in diagnosing a case of Trossier syndrome. The three territories are bilateral, anterior and posterior. And this sign is six times more common in cancer-associated stroke than atrial fibrillation. So this has fairly good diagnostic value. So why is there hypercoagulable state in malignancy? There are a lot of reasons. Activation of cell adhesion molecules specifically by mucin from adenocarcinomas, release of tissue factors by cancer cells, endothelial cell damage from the procoagulant cytokines, intravascular lymphomatosis, and increased viscosity, especially in myeloproliferative disorders. So what are the malignancies that are commonly associated with stroke? The common one is lung and GI malignancy. There are reports of breast malignancies, renal malignancies, cervical cancers, and lymphoma that is associated with stroke. There are three important patterns in determining a case of cancer-associated stroke. The pattern one, which is a non-enhancing small areas of restricted diffusion with a peripheral preference. The pattern two, is a watershed territory and pattern 3 fairly large vascular territory with absence of diffuse cortical uh, uh, ribboning or deep, deep gray involvement so these are the three patterns that you have to see when you are seeing a case of suspected cancer associated stroke so this is a typical example you can find small discrete pattern 1 type in the cerebellum the pattern 2 watershed infarcts in the right frontal region. The pattern 3 type of large infarcts in the left parietal region. And this patient underwent a PET and you can find out 
and colon malignancy in this patient. So how do you differentiate it with patients having atrial fibrillation and a cardioembolic stroke? Usually, the atrial fibrillation strokes have large wedge-shaped infarction in addition to these lesions. They are typically cortical and you can see isolate usually they are I, you can get isolated PCA isolated superior cerebellar artery strokes or posterior division of MCA strokes you can see a wedge shaped infarct this is fairly common and typical of atrial fibrillation so what is the treatment it's low molecular weight heparin and novel oral anticoagulants so this requires a high index of suspicion. Whenever you get a tree territory sign in MRI diffusion pattern, you have to consider evaluating malignancy as an etiology. So patients with TTS will benefit from malignancy workup in the absence of any identifiable cause, including atrial fibrillation. And the three patterns, the pattern of infarcts, helps to distinguish it from atrial fibrillation associated cardioembolic strokes. So I would recommend all of you to go through these two papers. One is a three-territory sign that was published in the Neurology Clinical Practice and another one was published in the American Journal of Neuroradiology. Thank you. Please leave your comments in the subscription box below. Thank you.